Good evening, everybody. How are you? This week, I started my post-graduation course in English teaching. And watching the classes, I learned something that I thought was extremely interesting. And I decided to share this information with you. It's no secret that English is a Germanic language. That means it comes from the same root that originated German, Flemish, and Dutch. But why is it, if English is the only language I speak, if I take a French book and a German book, I might understand more words from the French book than from the German book? French is actually responsible for 29% of English vocabulary. What's more, other Latin languages are responsible for another 29%. So, Latin languages are responsible for 56%, 58% of vocab English vocabulary, whereas Germanic languages are responsible for only 26%. But how did that happen? Well, in 1066, the Norman conquered England, and for about 300 in years, England and France had the same king, and French was spoken in England by the upper class, the nobles and the kings whereas English was spoken by the peasants and the lower class. And uh, this 300 years of contact, in doing this 300 years of contact, English borrowed many, many words from the French. And what is interesting is that uh, sometimes there is a difference in meaning, and since the upper class spoke the French language, the, the words in French are taken to be a little bit more formal than the words in English. For example, the names of the animals in the farms remained the Germanic origin, but they changed the, the, the name of the animals when it comes to meat, and they took the French version of it. That's why we have, for example, pig as the animal and pork as the meat, or cow as the animal and beef as the meat. And uh, until today, they have double vocabulary, and most of the times they have a French version of these words. And this, this French verb, verb, sorry, these French words I always take to be more formal. For example, in a not formal way, I might use the words buy, want, belly. But in a more formal situation, I might use purchase, desire, stomach. Even the, the feared but rather informal phrasal verbs always, almost always have a Latin version that is taken to be more formal. For example, we have the word come in and uh, come back, but the, in a more formal way, I might use the word enter or return. That's why I always say, when it comes to language, there's always an explanation in the root of the language. I hope you find the video today interesting and uh, thank you so very much for watching and see you next week. Bye-bye.